Welcome to Beyond Film School, I'm Amber, and today in this video, we are talking about how being yourself will help you so much in your film career journey, especially when you're starting out as a set production assistant. Before we jump into tip number seven, oh my god, I can't believe we're on tip number seven. Oh my god, that is so exciting. Be sure to subscribe to Beyond Film School and hit up that notification bell to stay up to date on all the videos I make on the film industry. And be sure to hit that PayPal link. I can't thank everyone enough who has donated already. I mean, help a channel out, right? Hit up that PayPal link. Keep me creating. Help support Beyond Film School. Being yourself. Man, I feel like this is just hard in your everyday life and trying to be yourself on set in the film world and your film career, it's a monumentous task. And let's be honest, it is. It is super hard to be yourself. To start off, I will say that people that are comfortable in their own skin tend to do a little bit better. I say quote, I quote like a little bit better. They at least deal with what comes with working in film a little bit better. And I know some of you might be thinking, of course I'm gonna be myself. Who else am I gonna be? If only it were, or life were that easy, right? It's a hard knock life. When working on a film set, there are a bunch of people, and with those loads of people come a lot of different personalities. It's impossible to get along with all of them, and that's not being negative, it's just a fact. Your goal on a film set is to not try and make everyone happy, and it's to not try and make friends with everyone either. Oh, look, everyone wants to be friends with the new guy. If you try to do that, you're gonna end up making no one happy. You'll end up with zero friends, zero real connections, or have real relationships built. And if you watch my other videos, you know that those real relationships, those real connections, is what gets you jobs. This is why it's important to be yourself. When you are yourself, you are going to attract the people that you mesh with best. This is where the most sincere connections are created and they're going to benefit you the most. I will add this, it can be a little confusing trying to figure out how to be yourself, improving who you are, and trying to bend to the ways of the film world. For example, I'm an introvert. Now a lot of people don't think I am one, but I am. It is hard <laughs> for me to socialize and talk and you know be open, but I have a good sense of humor. And I use my humor to get past that introvert barrier when I'm working on set. I use my humor to communicate more and better. And we talked about communication in tip number five. And if you're trying to work on a film set, if you're trying to work in film, you need to know how to communicate clearly. Because as an introvert, I can be a little quiet or tend not to talk a lot, which can become a hindrance on my connection making ability. So I am staying true to myself while improving myself and also trying to bend to the ways of filmmaking. I'm not gonna go work on set and try to be this extrovert and talk to every single person because one, that's gonna be super exhausting. So tired, so, so tired. Also, if I show up one day and I'm not that extroverted person that everyone believes me to be, everyone's gonna be like, hey, what's up with Amber? Those people I attracted with that facade I was putting up, they are gonna be like, hey, that's not really who she is, and then I have to kind of start all over and rebuild those relationships or start new relationships, and I have to start from scratch again. People can start to see you as fake, phony, two-faced, or might even be confused about who you are. And this comes down to trust. If they don't trust you, they're not going to give you job opportunities. They're not going to hire you. A lot of people are not going to want to work with someone they don't really know. The how is the hard part, right? Everyone can tell you why you should be yourself, but actually doing it is the tough work. How to be yourself. Number one is to accept yourself. You really have to accept who you are. Accept yourself for who you are. Flaws, strengths, weaknesses, all the things that make you you, good or bad, accept who you are. Number two is gonna be celebrate your strengths. Everyone has some great, awesome things about them, and so do you. You know what you're good at. 
I don't know what you're good at. I, you know what you're good at. I mean, like I said before, for me, it's like I know my sense of humor is a strength. Though. It brings out good things in people when I communicate with a sense of humor. So find something that you know is your strong suit. Focus on all the things that you like about yourself. Use those things to your advantage. Celebrate your strengths. Celebrate the things that you are great at. So number three is express yourself. And I feel like this is a little bit tricky because expressing yourself is really hard for some people. Express your feelings, feel feelings. If you're sad, be sad. If you're angry, be angry. If you're happy, be happy. Express yourself, be excited about something if you're excited about something. Show all the range of emotions. Also, when you're expressing yourself, you are sometimes making a connection with other people around you, which is just gonna help you reinforce great connections. I know how feel your feelings sounds, but you really have to, you know, feel the feelings that you're feeling. Feel the feelings that you're feeling. I kind of love that sentence, actually. Feel the feelings that you're feeling. But it can be tricky because here's the thing, is that when you're on set, you really have to stay strong. Who knows what happened on set? Stay strong in the face of everyone watching you and then take a moment go have five minutes or maybe on your lunch break or whatever and call your partner up, call a best friend, call a family member, or even go to your coworker on set and just vent. Get it all out, cry if you need to, scream if you need to, whatever you need to do to, you know, set yourself straight and, and express how you're feeling, do it. Just, you know, all I hope is that you're not screaming at anyone at the top of your lungs in the middle of set because, you know, we got, we got things to shoot people. <laughs> Just go to the side and do what you have to do. You know, this one can be tough. For example, I may have just been yelled at by an actor right in my face in front of the whole cast and crew. True story. But, in the moment, I'm gonna stay calm, I'm gonna make it right, I'm gonna calm the person down in front of me, and then when I have a moment to step away from set, I'm gonna call my husband and cry on the phone for 45 minutes of how disastrous everything is going on set. But then when I come back to set, I feel better. Express yourself, you have a right to express yourself, and it's only gonna make you feel better, and it, you're gonna be happier on set because of it. If you hold everything in, you're just gonna bottle it up, bottle up resentment and bitterness or whatever, and you will start to feel like you're not happy on set when you're trying to pursue your dream. And it's confusing when you're like, wait a minute, but this is my dream, but you're not happy. And it's because you're holding it all in. You gotta make sure you express yourself. So number four is going to be, <laughs> I know this is very, very hard. I know it's hard for me, but don't kill yourself trying to figure out what people think of you. I know, I'm, I'm pretty sure you've heard this so many times, but you cannot kill yourself trying to figure out what, you know, XYZ crew member or producer or AD or key PA is thinking of you. Just be yourself through and through and all the right people are going to come to you. Don't worry about the people who don't like you. Focus on the people that do like you and that are with you, you know, in the trenches with you by your side. Think about those people. You know, stay on the positive end. And number five is going to be learn from your mistakes. When you're first starting out in film, you're going to make mistakes. No one is perfect. Know that you're going to make mistakes, but with each mistake, you are going to learn from them. And that is the most important part about, you know, starting a career in film is knowing that if you can at least learn and keep learning as you go, because even when you've been in the business for 10, 12, 15, 20 years, you're still gonna make mistakes and you are always learning. So don't beat yourself up if you've made a mistake. It is very hard to be perfect when you're just starting out in a film career. So do not be so hard on yourself. Know that you're gonna make mistakes and you're going to learn from them. Remember that this is the beginning for you. If you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you're either just starting out or you haven't even started just yet and you're looking to jump into film. So know that you can't be super negative and hate yourself because you've made a mistake. All of those things are going to help you get to know yourself better. And by knowing your true self, you can actually be yourself. Being yourself on set is gonna help you in so many ways. I mean, not only is it gonna be, you're gonna be happier on set, you're gonna be a stronger person on set, and it overall, 
in life, it's just gonna benefit you as well. Not even just in your career or on set, it's just like in your life, you're just gonna be happier and you're gonna feel more fulfilled if you are yourself. I feel like tip number seven was a bit of a serious heavy hitter tip, but it's gonna go a long way. Being yourself will go a long way in your film career and starting out as a film production assistant. We have three tips to go. We have three days to go. Three tips, three days, three more videos in the 10 days of tips for the set production assistant and people who are starting their film career journey. And if you're ready to jump right into becoming a set production assistant, do my training that I hold in New York City. And if you can't join me in New York City, I have a set production assistant online course ready for you right now to take. If you are interested in learning all there is to know about being a set production assistant, how to get started in film, there's tons of information, loads of photos and exclusive videos for you. And you get access to it for one full year. And that link to all the details will be below for you. Tip number eight is coming up. If you like tip number seven, being yourself, if you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please comment below. I'm happy to answer any of your questions. And you know, tell me how you're doing. I love hearing from you, you know, or maybe you just wanna say hi. So that is it for now and I shall see you next time.